finally we get to see some more of Rage, uh, or some first things of Rage actually. Uh, what are you showing off here at Gamescom? Well, that's, that's, uh, that's a good question because even though we're calling this a first look, one of the things about Rage is the scope of the game is so broad, we're actually showing a whole lot. We're showing uh, bits of our vehicle, vehicle combat. We're showing uh, some of the, the shooter aspects, the first person shooter aspects. We're showing some of the story elements, which means characters and interacting with them. So we actually have a whole lot to show. The hardest thing about this demo for us was choosing what pieces to, to leave out because we have such a broad and diverse game. That, that creates a problem for us as, as journalists as, as well, because how do we describe this game, right? It's, there's a lot of different elements, and, and how do they blend? That, that's a good question, and, and the best way to answer it is at the core, the heart of the game is still a focused action shooter. And that might seem a little confusing at first, but when you take a look at the demo, you start to get it. Even the vehicles, they're an extension of your kind of first-person shooter avatar, and by that I mean you get your first vehicle, it's your vehicle, right? Bandits are harassing you in their vehicles, then you want to get the next weapon that you can put on the vehicle, the next armor piece, the next kind of meaningful upgrade. And it's all about controls and feedback, just like it's always been at id Software with the shooter. We want to be able to hand you the controls and you get it. After just, you know, a couple of minutes in the car, you get how to move around and uh, they're very tight and, and they're kind of the action uh, focused control system and when you hit the button to fire your rocket launcher it goes out and hits a um, another vehicle it's going to explode in a cool way and that's the kind of feedback you want as a gamer so we still are following some of the same rules and the game integrates real nicely even though it does have a broad scope would you say that that it's not just about transporting the player from each action sequence you know the the, the vehicles and it's more of an integrated part of the game it, it's definitely integrated uh, we were really careful when we were laying out the world. We wanted this larger world more believable. We wanted to stay away from, in the past we would have called it level, airlock, level, airlock. We wanted to get away from that. Now we just have these cool locations that, that are all spread out through our, our kind of larger environment. And when you're going from one shooter environment across a wasteland to another one, you need something cool and fun to do in between. And that's why we introduced the vehicles. We thought there were a way to take, you know, classic kind of vehicles, but um, take them in a direction that fit with a shooter. And that's what we try to do. And it, it, it really helps weave the world together and make it much more believable. And it's also something that, that te technology enables. Your new engine is one of the best looking engines I've seen but it's also a bit more flexible perhaps than what you've done in the past. It's a lot more flexible and for a designer that's the most exciting thing because we're always talking about numbers and and cool visuals you need all that to attract people to your game but in the end it's the experience the player has so one of the things that the technology does best is across all of the platforms it can render a whole lot of polygons that are uniquely textured so again you get uniqueness which gives us the, the ability to have all of these diverse environments and we get the speed which we want which means we can put more gameplay so for the first time we're not worrying about how few lights we can use or what kind of tech constraints we need to do. We're just worried about making the game fun and that's a big deal at id Software. There was some confusion uh, I guess a week ago or something about the Xbox 360 version whether it would be better or worse or could you just clear clear that issue up? We, we get that all the time. People want, especially if you're a fan of one of the consoles, maybe you only have one you want to make sure yours has the, the best. And then John Carmack, who kind of architects our technology, he's so free and open to everybody, he likes answering the questions. And uh, I think the confusion was in the fact that we want to take advantage of all of the console's hardware. And in the end, we want to run at a really high frame rate across all of consoles. And we think we are at that point. I think the point John was making was that the... Um, the PlayStation 3, because its architecture different with the different SPUs, it was a bit more of an engineering challenge to take advantage of those, because they all have slightly different memory uh, usage and CPU usage, but the technology itself is multiprocessor able. The virtual texturing means it can, it can stream in unique textures all around the world. All of that is set up and working really well, and we have consistent frame rates across all of the consoles. So in the end, gamers shouldn't have to worry about any of that. They get the game on any of the platforms, and it'll run great. Well, now we're reassured of that. Yeah. All right. so has, uh, has there been, uh, you, you recently switched owners, or you got a new owner. Uh, has that meant anything for you guys in the team? Yeah, so for me, when you say owner, that has a certain connotation. Oh, 
it doesn't have to be a bad thing. But it, it's not a bad thing because I don't feel owned at all. What we did was we basically have a new partnership with guys that have been uh, Zenimax, who owns Bethesda. They've been making top quality games that we've loved for a long time. So when the, the owners of id, um, you know, when, when they were first proposed this, this new merger, uh, it seemed to make sense. Here's guys that make these games, and they're the best games that, you know, everybody loves these games. And here's Id that's been doing things well for a long time. But now we have all of these combined resources to take advantage of, so it's actually going to give us even more freedom. In the end, you want the best games possible, and that's what this allows us to do. Okay, I think uh, they probably want you to leave now, but thank you very much for your time. No problem.